Hey guys, Princess 3 x and today I'm filming my May favorites, and I can't believe it's already the end of May. Like, that's totally crazy, which means the year is almost halfway over, which is crazy for me because I go off to college next year, so I can't even think about that. But anyways, um, my May favorites this month is probably going to be a little short. I'm not going to talk as much just because I feel like my videos are really long, and I know some of you don't like long videos, so I'm going to try and get her done really quickly. So the first thing I have are my favorite current nail polishes, and I've been wearing these nail polishes a lot this month, but um, I have about four colors, so I'm just going to go through them fairly quickly. The first is my Wet n Wild Mega Last Club Havana. Um, nail polish and this is the orange color and I talked about these nail polishes in my last Hits and Misses video. Um, I talked a lot about them so you can go check that out if you want a more in-depth review but it's a really pretty orange color and I've been wearing this a lot. I actually have this on my nails right now on the bottom of my manicure. And then also my Wet n Wild Mega Lost in I Need a Refreshment and this one is the mint green color. I've been pairing these together on my nails and certain manicures and nail arts so I love them together and then also with those two nail polishes I've been using my Julep Maven um, my Julep nail varnish and this one is the from the Julep Maven box this one is an Oscar and it's this really pretty gold color I talked about this one before as well I love 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 this gold polish it is absolutely gorgeous and completely opaque which I love about it so and then, last but not least, for color nail polishes, I have my LA Splash Nail Splash, and this one is in Blowfish Hot Pink. And I like this one because it's a really neon pink color, but I think it's fairly suitable for a lot of different people. So that's what I love about it. It's really bright and in your face. And I'm wearing this on the top of my manicure with Club Havana today. I did an ombre sort of gradient look on my nails, which you can see in the close-up somewhere on the screen. And so all those nail polishes I've been wearing on my toes and my nails. I haven't worn any other nail polishes except for these four this month. And then for my top coat, I did pick up a new top coat, and that is the INM Out the Door America's Number One Super Fast Drying Top Coat for Nails. But it's basically the Out the Door Top Coat, and it claims to dry in 45 seconds, which I think is a completely honest claim. I think this is an amazing top coat. Um, I know a lot of people rave about such feet, but I don't want to pay $8 for a top coat just because, I don't know, I don't see much point in it when I can use just a similar top coat. So this one I think is really comparable to the such feet top coat from what I've seen in pictures. Um, and it does definitely dry in about a minute or two. I usually let mine dry for about five minutes just to make sure. But this dries so, 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 so quickly. And it was about... I think it was $4 at Bed Bath & Beyond. So it's half the price that you would pay for such beat and it's just as good. Um, and it does leave me with a really thick, shiny coat on my nails. So I really, really love this polish and it's been saving me um, a lot of time when I do my manicures. So I really like that. So moving on fairly quickly to skincare. I know I may seem like I'm rushing through this. I just don't want it to be too long. The first thing is a lip balm and um, this is my Nivea Kiss of Moisture Hydrating Lip Care in, or I guess it's it, with SPF 4. And I've been using this in my tutorials a lot, and just in general, I actually stopped using this for a while just because I was using, um, I don't know, oh yeah, my Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. And so I stopped using this one for that one just because that one's, you know, really nice as well. But I've gone back to this pretty recently because it is really, really, really moisturizing. The Fresh Sugar one is moisturizing to a point, but I use it mostly for the smell. Whereas this one is just really moisturizing and it always, I always feel like I have it on my lips. It doesn't fade very quickly, which is nice to me. But you can see I have like zero left in here, so I'm probably going to have to pick up a new one fairly soon. Um, right now I'm just trying to use up the little last bit of it that I have and I might not pick up a new one just because I don't want to have to worry about it I guess. Um, so I've been using this one a lot. And then also my Garnier Nutriste Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream Moisturizer. And I've talked about this one a few times but each time I feel like I talk about it really vaguely because I'm never 
sure how I feel about this. I go on and off with this moisturizer a lot. But recently I've been using this every single day. And it looks like this. It is a sort of light green color. And I've talked about how the smell of this is what bothers me about it. But I've gotten so used to the smell that I really don't even think about it anymore. And I really like this moisturizer. I'm genuinely surprised at how I like this. Um, it feels really, really, really slick. It's definitely a gel. But when you rub it in, it takes a while to soak into your skin completely. But once it has soaked in, your skin just feels really sort of soft and full and it's just really nice. I don't know if full is the right word, bouncy, I'm not sure how to explain it, but it feels really really nice once it's soaked in and there's no like shiny after effect, which I like because sometimes moisturizers leave me looking shiny and I just don't like that at all. So yeah, I've been using this one every single day. I'm actually starting to starting to go lower on the container and this isn't very hygienic it being in a jar, but I don't mind too much just because I don't know, I don't really think about it. And then in addition to face skincare, I've been using the Clarisol Ultra Acne and Marks Wash and Mask, and it looks like this. And this is really, really, really nice. I, I've also been using the Clearasol, like anti-acne pads or something. I'll talk about those in a separate video or something. Um, but they are not part of my favorites just because I feel like they're really, really harsh. Anyways, I've been using this on my face and I don't use it every single day because I switch off between this and the pads. Um, but I use it a lot of the time and it's really, 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 really nice. I really like this. I actually do think my skin has slightly improved. My mom even says she saw an improvement in my skin from using this in the pads. So I do think it works. And what I like is that you can use it and you can put it on and just wash it off immediately or you can put it on and leave it on for a few minutes and then wash it off um, so that's why it's called wash and mask and it is a really pale green color and I really really like the smell of this as well which sounds strange but I do it smells really really clean and fresh and nice so I really like the smell of this um, and it has salicylic acid 2% salicylic acid so it does work and what I also like about it is it doesn't dry out my skin like a lot of acne washes would but rather it makes my skin feel really really soft once I'm done with it it reminds me a lot of my Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial Clay Mask this one has avocado and oatmeal um, it reminds me a lot of this mask because of the color and the smell and um, the way it leaves my skin it feels really soft and this one is supposed to purge pores however this one I use more so when I'm like just wanting my skin to feel soft and to moisturize my face but this one I use when I want to get rid of my acne so there is a visible difference between these two and what they do for my face but I like them both and this one does remind me a lot of the Freeman mask that I totally rave about you guys have heard me rave about that one a lot and last but not least for skincare, I don't know if this even counts for skincare, but it is a perfume. And this is the Victoria's Secret Pink Soft and Dreamy with a Splash Body Mist. And I totally obsessed over this for the longest time. And then I lost it and I was really depressed. <laughs> but then I got my Burberry perfume and forgot all about it. So I found this the other day and smelt it again and I'm totally obsessed over it. It just smells so, so good. I love the way this smells. Um... It just smells really, I guess, I mean, it's described as soft and dreamy, and that's how I would describe it as to, like, to someone. It smells really soft and almost, like, it does have a really sweet smell as well, like vanilla smell, but it's not the generic vanilla smell that you would normally smell. Um, so I really, really, really love this body mist, and I know that all the body mists smell really good from this line. There's another one that I like, but I can't think of it. But anyways, I'm totally obsessing over this this month. Okay, moving on to eyes. The first thing I have is my e.l.f. cream liner. This one is in coffee, which is a dark brown color. And I normally hate, hate, hate brown liners. I just, I don't like them. I'm, I guess I'm really used to black eyeliners, which is why I don't wear a lot of brown eyeliners. But I really, really like this one. I think it's dark enough that... It still gives you a really nice definition to your eyes, but it's light enough that it looks brown and not black. So I really like this, and it's just as creamy as my black liner from e.l.f., so I really enjoy this. Um, and I am wearing it today. 
And then in addition to that, I've been obsessed over my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. This one is in Milk. And I have owned one of these before. I owned it in Iced Mocha. But as much as I love that color, it's not as wearable as Milk is. I think Milk is really wearable because no matter what look I'm doing, I can put this under my eyeshadows and it's going to make it look so much brighter and a lot more true to color, if that makes sense. When you have a white base under something, it's going to look more true to color than if it's on your skin tone, um, like on a skin tone shade. So that's why I really, really like this jumbo eyeshadow pencil. And I did use it today, and I also used it in my neon lights tutorial as well. So I really like this, and it's really, really creamy. Like it's, it's super creamy. I don't know if you can see this, but it's all. It's just really, it's really nice. So I really love this, and I don't think that I will ever need like another white base again because. I'll just keep rebuying this because I think it's a really nice white base. And I haven't ever had it crease on me either. And then for face, I've been, instead of using my Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Makeup, you guys know that I've talked about this in my April Hits and Misses. And I still like this because it does give a really nice full coverage, but it doesn't look cakey. However, as I mentioned in my April Hits and Misses, I was scared that this one was going to run out really quickly because it's such a thick foundation. Um... And I think that it proved true to my words because it is, I'm halfway done with the bottle and I didn't use it that long. A foundation should last you a pretty long time and considering I didn't, I only used this for about a month and not even every day. Because I've had foundations last me a lot longer than this and they've been smaller containers and it just doesn't, it says withstands heat, sweat, and humidity, no transfer, won't rub off. Um, flexible, breathable, all day comfort. And I disagree with all of those things, so it's not exactly as advertised. But if if it's winter time and you want a thick, full coverage foundation that doesn't look cakey, I totally recommend this. This one is a great foundation. Or if you have dry skin, um, I totally recommend this foundation. However, it's summer, it's hot, and my face gets oily fairly quickly during the summer. It, it's super dry, like bone dry in the winter, but it's super oily in the summer. Like it accentuates my pores when it starts to melt off, which I hate. And also it is completely transferable. It transfers, it just, it's horrible with transferring. So I really don't like that about it. So I've stopped using this for the time being, even though this is my summer shade, which means I'll have to wait until like, or I might just have to throw it away because I don't know. I'll keep it for the summer and I might use it for the special events, but um, it's too dark for me to use in the winter, so I don't know, but yeah, instead of using that one, I have been using my Physicians Formula Healthy Wear Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 50. You guys know this is my favorite tinted moisturizer. Sorry if it just got darker. I don't know why it got darker, but um, this is my favorite tinted moisturizer, and it just, it's so nice. Compared to this one, it is, I think it's a little bit more expensive, but I don't remember um, because I bought this one such a long time ago. However, um, this one is completely transfer free. It does not ever transfer. I do set it with a powder, but even then it doesn't transfer. Um, I used to set my Maybelline one with a powder and it still transferred, so bleh. But um, I set this with a powder and it doesn't move. It does not budge. I was in 90 degree weather the other day wearing this all day long. Um, like I think it was like seven hours and it did not move so I really really love this also it's really light feeling I cannot feel this on my face at all so I also like that because it is summer I don't want to wear a really heavy foundation um, but I still want a decent coverage and this does still give me the coverage I want especially now that my skin has started to get better I think this gives me um, a decent enough coverage that I don't really have to worry about it so I've been using that a lot and then to apply powder recently, instead of my Kabuki brush or my powder puff, I've been using um, the Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman powder brush. And this is what this one looks like. It is a, like, um, I don't know if it's duo fiber. I think I talked about it before. I don't know if this is duo fiber or just dip dyed. However, it is white on the tips or it's supposed to be. I did use this today, so it's a bit dirty. But, um... I love, 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 love this powder brush. I do want to pick up the Core Collection um, brush set, which has, like, the buffing brush in it because I want to try that for foundation. But I really love this. This has not shed it on me at all. Um, and I've washed it loads of times because I've had it for a while now. And it still has never shed on me. And I think it's $10 for this brush. Um, I'm not 
completely positive. You can check on Ulta.com and these are only sold in Ulta stores. However, um, I really like this and I use it all the time now to apply my powder because it just, it gets all over my face really quickly because it's so big. And also, it's a perk that this is from Pixie Woo. Um, Samantha Chapman from Pixie Woo made this. And I think it's great that all these YouTube gurus are really getting out and are actually making their own, like, makeup lines. Like, I don't know. Um, let's see. It's Julie G made one, made nail polish. And then all those gurus that went to Paris and worked with Sigma and Lauren Luke and then Pixie Woo and all these different people are branching out which I think is really awesome to show that YouTube beauty gurus have this big impact um, so I didn't just buy this because I thought oh new brush line let's try it I also bought it to support Samantha from Pixie Woo because I think that um, this community is really awesome and really close and I love that so just a little backstory behind that brush. And then last but not least for my May favorites this month, um, I told you guys it would be short, is my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And this one is in 720A Sunny. And um, mine is actually broken because I dropped it one day when I was like having a spaz moment. I dropped it and the top removed itself from the bottom, but I was not throwing it away considering it's still full. Um, and I just really like this for contouring. I don't use it like all over my face, but mostly for under my cheek contouring and it just works really well. It's not too orange, which I like. I think it does have a bit of oranginess, but that keeps it from looking dirty. Um, and it is matte, so I really like this as a bronzer and I've been using this loads this month. So that is basically it for my May favorites. I know this one was really short and I may have still battled a lot, but... I hope you guys enjoy it and also I did film this tutorial today and hopefully this will go up before or after that tutorial, I don't know, but um, check that tutorial out, I'll link it in the down bar when it goes up or if it's already up. Oh yeah, I totally forgot, um, my friend Candace, who you guys have met a million times before, um, who's uh, like in my vlog, so she was in my lookbook with me as well. Um, she now has a YouTube channel and is currently making videos. She just put up her introduction video on her channel, and I will link her in the down bar. Her username is Surprise Owen Style, and it's all one word. Um, and yeah, please go check her out and super pretty please subscribe to her. Um, tell her I sent you if you go subscribe to her and comment on her video and just support her for me. I love her to death and she's super sweet. She'll be making more fashion videos than beauty videos um, just because she's more into fashion than she is into makeup. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and go check her out. She is my person favorite of the month. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Comment, like, subscribe, send your requests and I will see you guys later.